Guys, I just read the Gilded Ones. It was so amazing. I'm so sad it's over. Let's talk about it. My name is Amber Elise. My obsession is with books. If you two are obsessed with books, great. I make videos on them every single Monday. So sit back, relax, subscribe, and enjoy because you have come to the right place. Today, we have a spoiler-free review on The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. If you haven't read it, you need to. This is a newly released, highly anticipated 2021 book. And we'll get into some spoilers later. The Gilded Ones is all about this amazing girl named Decca. I pronounce her name as Decca. If it's wrong, I'm sorry. Decca is 16 and where she lives, there's something called an impurity ceremony. The impurity ceremony will let girls know if they're going to be members of their village or not. This is determined by whether their blood is gold or red. Red blood will determine if she gets to live a normal life. Gold blood means impurity and that pretty much means death. Our sweet Decca's blood is gold, but then this mysterious woman comes up to her and lets her know that she can either stay in her village or fight for the emperor with other girls like her. All of them have gold blood and are considered demons and impure, but they're the only ones strong enough to fight this big battle for the emperor. Decca decides to take this route, but as she's training for battle, she learns so much about the world she's in, even things about herself. So this is a fantasy book. I tend to avoid fantasy books. You wanna know why? Because there are too many names, too many worlds, too many powers, just too much. And I was obsessed with this. This may change my whole fantasy perspective. Fair warning, there is a lot of violence and a lot of serious topics that are discussed, but it's a great story. There's this whole community and world and rules that we're learning about. There's self-discovery stories. There's crazy battles. It's great, it really is. Let's talk about the cons. My biggest con would be that a lot of the stuff that happened at the end, I wish I would have just put it in a second book, which there is supposed to be a second book, by the way, and I will be reading that as soon as it's out. Like we learn a ton of information at the end and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like there was a certain point in the book where I think they could have stopped and started book two. This is going to sound very weird, but I have never in my life seen the word unnerved more than in this book. If you read this, please tell me I'm not crazy. The word unnerved was used excessively in this book. My final con would be that it was just a little too long. It was about 412-ish pages and it could have been shorter. There were some things I was like, eh, we don't really need that, but that's it. Those are my cons. Now for my pros, pretty much everything else. I think that Decca is like, just like my dream character. I used to want to be an actress. This would have been my dream character. Imagine if this becomes a movie. I really hope it becomes a movie. It needs to be become a movie. I loved her. I think the plot itself was told well. It was a good story we got from point A to point B to point C. Her best friend in this book, their relationship is amazing. I loved it. A good, solid YA friendship. I like the woman empowerment-ness in this book. There are some concepts in this book that are very, very archaic as far as the way the men think, but that's mixed in with some amazing woman empowerment and women finding their voice, and it's great. Even though the battle scenes are gory, I really liked them. I, we learned a lot during them, and they were so intense, and they were such page turners, and we learned learn a lot about Decca and kind of who she is through those battles. And it was just a really good read. I don't know. It's something that you have to read on your own and go on this journey for yourself because there's so much in it and it's just amazing. Was this book worth the hype? Absolutely, positively, yes. And Miss Forna, this is her first novel. This is an amazing debut novel. Amazing, like kudos, kudos. Like she killed it. She did her thing. That's all I can say. Five out of five. Okay, we're going to get into some spoilers. So if you haven't read the book, goodbye. Unless you want to stay, you're welcome. But I recommend you read the book first. All right, let's get into the spoilers. Okay, y'all. I was bawling when I thought that Brita passed away. That's how I pronounce her name. Her best friend. Oh my, I was bawling. I loved their friendship so much. So when I thought she died, the tears were just a flowing. But Decca, Decca came through. What we learned about White Hands and like what they did to her, taking apart her body and putting it in different places places in the palace or wherever they were. That was insane. That was literally insane. I was like, oh my gosh, White Hands. Speaking of, like White Hands had me on edge the entire time. I could not tell if she was good or bad. Then I learned she's just amazing. How they like covered the goddesses with the children's blood and had them like stoned for 
all those years. I can't, it's daunting. The stuff they did to those women is insane. Deck is your Rooney, Kieta. I feel like I'm saying all this so wrong. Um, I really liked him, but like I, I just, I didn't buy their love really. Like I bought that they were really close. I just felt like it was like, oh, we have to make them fall in love. I thought it would have been kind of cool if she fell in love with like another guy who wasn't her, your Rooney. I liked his character though. And I loved how he protected her, even though he had to dismember her. He saved her, he risked his life. That was so sweet. What they did to Decca, killing, she died, what, nine times? And they were just, she was a kid. She was 16, 16. And they were just, and her, her dad just turning on her. I, oh, that made me so angry. What do you guys think is going to happen in the second book? I guess it'll be about the true Jato, Jato guys who we learned actually have powers as well. That will be an epic battle and watching them battle the Alakai and the Death Streaks. It'll be so cool. What do you guys think of the Death Streaks? That was interesting that they ended up being the good guys. I kind of picked that up as time went on, but like, I want to know what they looked like. I have like my own image in my head. Like I picture like a version of Attack on Titans with like that uh, Ruko, I forgot what his name is from Death Note, like a mixture of that. That's what I think. Okay guys, that's the spoilers. That concludes my review of the Gilded Ones. I loved it. Until we meet again, go read.